You know, Mark, I get asked that question all the time. And to me, the speaking industry really isn't a, a self-serving industry. As a matter of fact, I think it should be a serving industry. And I think in terms of speaking, we should be worried about sharing ideas, about learning new things, and about inspiring people. To me, that's what speaking is all about. So what I try and do is to take people deep inside of our championship DNA. And I'm going to take them into our locker room. I'm going to take them into our strategy sessions. I'm going to take them into our player meetings. And I'm going to take them into our staff meetings with the intent of trying to get them a good up-close look at what it takes to be a champion. And then I hope at the end of it, they become the best as a team, as an organization, and even as an individual. The second behind the scenes story I want to give you just to kind of lay groundwork as to who we work with every day is Kevin is an interesting leader, Kevin Garnett, in that he doesn't just put his money where his mouth is, he puts his action where his mouth is. Big difference now. Some people are willing to put their money where their mouth is, but many are not willing to put their money and their actions behind it. So Kev didn't like the way the other rookies were dressing before the game, uh, going to the game. So he said, look, I gotta do something. And I, I said, Kev, just do what you think is right. Because he usually makes the right decisions. So what he did, he gathered the three rookies up. And he said, come on, you're going with me. And he found out who the best tailor in Rome was. And he took the three rookies over to the tailor. You can imagine that tailor. And this is what he told the, the tailor. He said, sir, because that's how Kevin speaks. So Kev takes these three guys, and he says, Sir, I would like for you to, to outfit them in cust three custom suits, but I want them to be classic suits. I don't want this hip-hop stuff. Okay? And, Sir, here is my credit card to pay for them. He put his money and his action behind what he was trying to teach those three rookies to do. But one of the tenets of leadership that I believe in is in order to get to their heads, you must go through their heart. Because if you capture their heart, you have an opportunity to capture their heads. And in today's world, with all the clutter on the, one of the slides that, that, that they saw earlier, with today's clutter, I believe it's a battle for mind space, M-I-N-D, getting into the minds of those you lead, and heart space. Mind space and heart space. And Pat was really excited. He said, man, Kevin, they asked me to coordinate it again. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Pat, nobody wants to do it. <laughs> and as those clues started to show up, the body got cold, the discoloration in the feet, I knew. I knew that my dad had just passed away in front of me. You know, Joseph B. Eastman, 1921, like dash 2007. Joseph B. Eastman, 1921, dash 2007. So after the burial, we went to the reception, and people kept coming up to me, trying to be nice, and uh, and I kept thinking to myself, man, they don't get it. They don't get it. They're saying stuff like, wow, 86 years old. Holy smokes. I hope I can live to 86 years old. Your dad was 86. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. It's not the beginning, 1921. It's not the end, 2007. It's the dash. That's where our significance lies. That's where our helping others lies. That's where becoming more lies. Success check number two, passion. I only know this about passion. And it may seem simple, but we only want people on our team who love what they're doing. Getting into the gym, sweating, improving, lifting weights, getting better, being a basketball player, loving to play the game. We want passion. I would think Farm Bureau wants passion. If you don't remember anything at all, please remember this. Passion is powerful. People see passion. People feel passion. Okay? But most importantly of all, people follow passion. They follow passion. 
Passion is a multiplier. It's incredible what passion can do.